For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to show you how you can create a mode select inside of your CircuitPython code. So what this means is, when the program starts up on your device, in this case the Circuit Playground Express, it will wait for some kind of user input before doing whatever the other thing is that we're trying to do. So in this case, I have a simplified version of a button presser that will either do a MIDI mode or it will do a item select mode for a game. So on this, when it starts up, it is yellow. And if you look at my little readout in the serial display, it says select the mode by pressing a button. So I'm gonna press one of the buttons. If I press the first button, it says, okay, we're in MIDI mode now. And now you can see my LEDs turned blue. And now I'm just, I'm, I'm rocking them in this mode here where what I do is the thing I wanted the program to do. However, uh, if I restart this, kind of getting myself back to that, that initial state, and then it's gonna say, select the mode by pressing a button. Okay, this time I'll press the second button. Uh, now I'm in this green mode. You can see here, I have a section of code called while not, and that's the key. Essentially, we have a loop that we're gonna stick inside of until that condition is proved false. So while mode picked is false, so when this starts up, we can't get out of the loop. So it's sitting there essentially just waiting for a button press. Once a button press happens, it's, oh, okay, that's been satisfied. I've changed the state of mode picked to be true. Now it can move on with life and then get to our main loop, which is while true, same sort of principle, except this one runs forever. And so that is how you can create a mode select inside of CircuitPython. And that's your CircuitPython Parsec.